Okay. okay. That's better. And let's do um, a quick, but not too quick, um, you know, explanation of how to create your own style galleries. Because as Kathy brought it up, and I'm sure that others of you, as you try composition, may say, hey, I know I'm going to use a lot of these, um, a lot of these styles. And I'd like to have like this, like style gallery that I can just click and have all the most used styles that um, I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Right. The way to create create a style gallery is you go to style galleries here in the SAI. Then you want to go down to where it says create or manage style galleries. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up this dialog box here. And let's say I want to create a style gallery of just um, heads. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and say, OK, a head. That's one. That's a H B head. That's another one. And I'll just do C head for um, sense of completion here. So we'll go down to C head. By the way, you can select multiple ones, but you have to hold control. Uh, that's why my, um, my previous selections went away. Uh, you have to hold control while you're selecting it when you're on a uh, PC. Um, I don't know, Tim, if um, you know the uh, command to hold on to or the key that you have to hold on to uh, or press down uh, while you're selecting multiple items on a Mac. Uh, I believe it's either shift or uh, command. Command can help sort of like select different ones. Right. Okay. And so command on uh, Mac and control on PC. And so then we're going to go ahead and add the styles to the new style gallery. I'm going to go ahead and sit save gallery. It's going to ask me to name it. I'm just going to call it heads and I'm going to hit OK. Right. And so I can close out of this. It'll say style gallery heads saved. Hit OK. I can close out of this. Go again here. And now you see that we have this style gallery present there. And so if I go ahead and click on that, you'll see that the A head, the B head, and the C head that I added are there uh, present. Does that um, make sense? And does that answer your question, Kathy? Okay, I see you nodding. Good. And so does anybody have any other questions before we uh, proceed? I think Tim's already answered Sophie's question. Okay, good. If you look at the numbered list um, gallery that I created for myself just because I use it um, often, you'll see that I have just NL, but I also have the sub um, NL1s, I have NL2s and NL3s, and I have NLF and NLH and all the other ones that I might that might come up when using um, numbered lists and when composing a numbered list. So yes, Richard, you are correct. Uh, you would want to add more, um, you know, than just like, hey, I'm just going to add NL. Well, you know, it's better to add the other ones, especially if you're going to be doing sort of the granular uh, com uh, composing. Now, if you're going to be um, skip, okay, I see that from Kathy. I'll, I'll mention that in a little bit. So when you're looking at the style galleries and you're composing just these broad strokes, it might be useful to rather than have this like big box, you could just have the NLs and NL1s and let the hub take care of the you know, articulation. Now, if you need to do the granular editing uh, of the composition like we're doing now, um, you, um, you can have that in the style galleries. But you can create the gallery the way that is most useful to you. That's the, the convenience of it. Um, now, Kathy, to your question um, about skip, um, if you see here, we have the option to auto select the next paragraph group so that we can essentially, so we essentially don't have to come back out here and you know, click on this and move to the next one. Skip allows you to skip that paragraph um, just in case it's, for example, we're composing a numbered list and you see NL, NL, and then the next item is a P, you can hit skip and then go to the next paragraph, which might happen to be an NL. So that's what that's there for. Okay. Do we have and I'll just other? add one quick reminder as well. There are um, what, what Elvis and Richard were discussing about adding style to galleries. That's just for those that you create. There are built in what are called default galleries that include like all the numbered list styles already. So right. if you wanted to just grab like an entire family of styles, you could do that through the default. Right. Right. So, and I can show you that here. If you go to style galleries, load default gallery, 
it'll bring up all the galleries and these are tagged to our SEML list, which is on our site. And so we can go to numbered list here and hit OK. And it brings up the same thing. And that has everything that we might need. Um, as you saw, as you see in this one, there's like NL4s and NL5s, which I've, you know, rarely used. So my gallery does not have that. Um, so again, there's flexibility with that for, um, you know, what works uh, for you as you're composing. Good. Do we have any other questions? No? Okay. Okay. And so 